Aries, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week, week for the week, <laughs> for the week of <laughs> Monday the 13th to the 17th, no, 13th to the 19th. Oh, totally onto it. Right to start, you're the first one I'm doing. 13th to the 19th of June 2022. Got it. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. Well, it took a bit to get that out. <laughs> Aries. Overall, there's five of pentacles, feeling like something's out of reach, something or someone, or you're feeling left out in the cold, abandoned, blocked here for some reason. But I feel like this this pack, it is almost like something feels unobtainable to you. But it's also talking about moving forward to warmer energy, making something achievable, um, coming through with that. Could be around work, um, doesn't have to be, could be around love, could be around home. But there is that five of pentacles overall. I will clarify everything shortly. Past energies, you had the Prince of Cups, the Hierophant, the Moon. Could have been dealing with Taurus or Pisces in the past. There was love here, um, but I feel there was some outside pressure being put on you not to be with someone. When things are darker and greyer, that moon does give you clarity. And that moon, I feel, actually got you to step up and um, let your voice be heard. Follow your own beliefs, follow your heart, follow your gut instinct, especially around this love. Present energies, maybe still an existing relationship. You have the Emperor, Princess of Pentacles, Two of Cups. There is love here. You're in control of the situation. Divine masculine energy, your own energy. Could be dealing with another Aries. Boom, you're in control here. And there's this offer on the table. Again, it may be around love, around home, around work. But there is an offer here. And I feel it's still around this love with that Two of Cups as well. Future energies, you have the Six of Cups, Ace of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Getting control of the situation. There is a new chapter here. So as I said, it still may be an existing relationship. It may be somebody extremely brand new. But there is some sort of focus still on the past. And this may be where this Five of Pentacles comes into place overall for the week. There is something in the past that, um, as I said, that Hierophant may be bringing in some outside pressure there. Interesting Aries, we will clarify everything. Starting with this Five of Pentacles, let's get this sorted, why this is here overall for the week. Aries. Oops, guess we'll take that one. Queen of Wands, the Hanged Man, Five of Cups. Yeah, something that's causing a bit of sadness here, waiting for somebody else to make a decision here, make their mind up. It's causing a bit of sadness, a bit of turmoil. It's all about knowing there's loving energy around you. I feel like you're starting to dig deep here and get this renewed confidence and determination. You know what you want, possibly you know who you want, but there is a decision to be made to release yourself from this Five of Pentacles and this Five of Cups. I do always say, don't let others tell you to hurry up and move on. It's done in everyone's own way, but um, that decision may be yours to make right there. Past energies, Aries, Prince of Cups. You have the Princess of Cups, the Chariot, the World. Things were moving forward. I do feel this relationship is meant to be, and I feel it's still an existing relationship here. Divine timing, but balancing each other out and getting this chariot energy moving, having some momentum happen here, and that world, something's coming full circle, possibly someone, but um, there is a lot of love here in this whole underlying reading. And I feel like this is one that is meant to be. Could be dealing with a cancer. We come to the Hierophants, 
King of Wands, Six of Wands, Knight of Cups. There's love. Okay, and there's victory when it comes to love, following your own heart, not letting others tell you who to be with or who not to be with. You are in control of the situation and that outweighs this hierophant energy of outside interference. As I said, you are following your heart here and there's victory with this relationship. As we come to the moon, you get the tower, seven of wands, three of cups, and that persistence. There's something to celebrate here. Um, I feel that not giving up, not quitting. And I feel it's either you're not giving up on someone or they're not giving up on you. Or both. You're not giving up on each other here. There is energy to be released here with this tower, but allows this whole solid new foundation to be built. And things have been a bit darker and grayer at times. You've had that inner persistence, not quitting. And this comes out with something to celebrate. So present energies, Aries, your own here with the Emperor. With the Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Been able to clear a lot of crap out. And that's releasing in that tower energy as well. And having a fresh new start. Honest, open, clear beginning here. Being proud of your achievements. Proud of how far you've come emotionally. And what you've earned along the way. And what you've worked hard for. Finally getting a clean slate here to begin. Princess of Pentacles. You do get the devil, the empress, eight of wands. You still feel bound and chained to some sort of negative, unhealthy energy, some sort of toxic energy here. This offer, I feel, is actually like problem shared, problem halved, okay, and helping you release yourself from, from this energy. But it means that everybody needs the full story. Don't get the half story, don't give the half story. Communication, we just talked about clear, honest, open, beginning, new chapter there. Well, that comes with that clear, honest, open communication. But also being aware of what is holding you back from accepting an offer. And it comes back to that five of pentacles of feeling like something's out of reach because there is something here that is trying to prevent you from moving forward with this offer. And feel this offer is still this love with this Two of Cups. The Two of Wands, Ten of Wands, Four of Pentacles. And again, still feeling bound and chained to something. You may be going through a separation, through a divorce. There may be children involved. You may be caught up in some sort of legal contract that you're not able to break free from as easily as you had hoped. It feels like you're doing this journey on your own, but actually with this Two of Cups, I said, problem shared, problem halved. And you know, you've got this daydreamy energy of where you want to be. You're not wanting to be stuck um, or left holding on to things here or, or into this contract if you are trying to release yourself from something there. You've got this focus. So future energy, six of cups. You have the nine of cups, five of wands, ten of swords. Yeah, there is emotional happiness there for the taking. I always say take it with both hands and run with it. But there's still some sort of painful cycle that is coming to its completion. It's caused a lot of conflict, a lot of drama. I feel it's something from the past, given you're clarifying this Six of Cups. It may be this Hierophant energy we had in your past energies. But that painful cycle is finishing. And um, that conflict and drama can be done with. As you begin a new chapter here, Ace of Cups, this Five of Pentacles again, but get the Ace of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. Bigger and better things always say, but feeling left out in the cold as we were mentioning before and now moving forward to warmer energy. You may be waiting for an apology here and it may never arrive, so I always say it's just about refocusing towards some sort of brand new beginning, brand new chapter. And let that wheel of fortune push you forward, especially around this new beginning when it comes to love. You are moving into warmer energy here with that new beginning. Love that. And you finish with the two of pentacles. These flew out. You get the knight of pentacles, princess of wands, knight of wands. There is balance here. The two of pentacles always talking about the juggle, the balance, the ups and the downs. 
things are moving very slowly here this is your future energies you're still very compassionate very giving maybe a bit of a roller coaster ride and a bit of a juggle that is to be had along this journey very slow process slow and steady wins the race that knight of pentacles is saying to slow things down and go with the flow but it may be it that it's a bit slower than what you um anticipated Aries let's see what the universe has to say you get the ten of wands six of pentacles six of cups love that um six of cups six of wands six of pentacles six of wands Boom. victory though equally balanced out here the end of this burden of feeling like you're on this journey on your own you're not there's a lot of love in this underlying reading as i said maybe existing it may be brand new it's more equal give and take and that in itself is giving you this victory and bringing an end to this burden so aries we do finish with moontrology I, you get the north node step out of your comfort zone wow and that may come back to this hangman clarifying overall stepping up and taking the lead taking control and making that decision but it may be stepping out of your comfort zone but that's what i have so do hope it helped dairies thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time see ya bye